So 73 years old uh, Dr. Martin, who is a professor of pediatrics in uh, Tanzania, was referred to me from Tanzania. And uh, when I saw him and met him for the first time in uh, the OPD, he was looking quite depressed. I was not able to walk, not able to eat. So I had to be fed, I had to be supported to walk, and be sent to the bathroom. The disease started in 2013. It was just for two fingers, but time goes on, the problem become bigger and bigger. So that is why the doctor referred me to this hospital, PLK Max in Berlin. So when I evaluated him and clinically examined him, I diagnosed him as a case of uh, refractory or advanced Parkinson's disease. So Parkinson's disease is basically a disease which is a neurodegenerative disease. It's a progressive neurodegenerative disease, which means there is a depletion of certain amount of chemicals into the brain. So the treatment is initially begun with medications. Many people respond to medications, but eventually the drug related side effects start to set in. This is what we call as advanced Parkinson's disease. When the side effect of the medication also sets in and the patient starts having dyskinesias. So this is where the role of surgery comes into picture. Not many people are aware about uh, the surgery for Parkinson's disease. The surgery is called the deep brain stimulation. In this, two electrodes are placed in an awake state in the brain in an area called subthalamic nucleus and the placement was precise. And after that, his slow gait improved, his tremors improved, his mood improved, and overall ability of daily activity improved tremendously. Now he is able to, to dress himself, take shower, and also eat. He eat on him, himself. I'm able to write now, and also to, to walk. I mean, the digit of the hands have much reduced. I have to thank uh, Dr. Rohit and Dr. Man Mohan for the good work they have done. When the disease becomes too advanced, that is the time when we should consider deep brain stimulation surgery. The surgery has miraculous results and it affects the quality of life, changes the quality of life and changes the life of a person.